So our flight to Morocco got canceled yesterday, uh, which was like one day before, no explanation given. Um, but we did find last minute tickets on another airlines. Um, and so we are still planning to go. It's just uh, a few hours delayed, but we're hoping that this flight also doesn't get canceled. We're not really sure the reason the first flight got canceled, um, but we're still on our way to Marrakesh. Now we actually have a few hours stopover in Casablanca too. Welcome to Morocco. It's the first day in Morocco. Um, it's going to be a chill day today because we've kind of been traveling a lot, so a little bit tired. Um, and tomorrow we also have like three days of travel planned. We're going to the desert, and so we're actually going to be sleeping there in like tents. Um, so that'll be really fun. Uh, but today I'm just finishing up some work and going to chill. And in the night, I think we're going to go out to the old city and grab a nice dinner. Marrakesh in the market um, area so it's literally the example of perfect competition because every stall is the exact same menu and there are like hundreds of stalls and I know this because every one has like the name is a number so we're in stall 41 they got us um, and they basically as you're walking they're like try getting you right in um, and it's really hard to actually like get through um, and also like the vegan options are too bad actually um, for street food here we have vegetable skewers and couscous um, of course, um, a vegan diet is kind of unusual here, but definitely can make it work. Um, and it's a super nice seating arrangement. We're in the Atlas Mountains right now. Um, the view is outstanding. Um, it's really hot though. We just came to the Berber village here. Um, and you can see it right behind. Over there. Another viewpoint of the Atlas Mountains. We're at the place where they make argan oil from seeds. Oh, see, yeah, look. This one is almond butter. Mm -hmm. Almond butter? Yeah, almond butter with honey, argan oil, and uh, oh. and uh, almond. This one? And this is honey. Honey, okay. And this is argan oil, pure one. Oh, wow. For salad. When you finish, mm -hmm. every, uh, every Yeah, basically, you cannot put too much, you're saying. Yeah, because you fry it with too much oil. there right now um, it's a bit of a walk but I'm excited for the views and the history I, I think we're gonna learn a little bit more about the history here too
cannot see well the invi the main color, the invisible one, it's with the green tea and sugar. Yeah. Now you can oh, see. Oh, this? This one? Yeah, no, you can see zafran. This is zafran. Okay. And the blue, it's indigo stone. So this is the three different natural pigments. Here you can see this is zafran. Yeah. Zafran. Yeah. And this is indigo stone, what we use for the good uh, scarf and the Oh, good for dresses. the blue dresses. Yeah. Okay. And for the good jeans as well. And this is green tea with a lot of sugar. Okay. So now he will show you a demonstration. You can take yeah. a video. Normally, I look at something you don't see very good. And the password is the fire. Look. Oh, the password is fire. Yeah. Abracadabra. There's a Picasso. Look at the color that changes. Oh wow! Yeah, like magic. Oh, normally the orange is getting burned, like changing colors. And it smells like caramel. Yeah. yeah to the sugar. sugar. Yeah. And the sugar. Cream brulee. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> burning sugar, so it's kind of like. See the color is like that. Oh wow! Yeah. The black color is green tea. Okay. And that yellow, it's saffron, and the blue, it's indigo. Oh, so only the green tea burns? Yeah. Green yeah. Tea. yeah. And saffron also, they, they change a little bit. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. Yes. Here is the synagogue. Um, and this is the Jewish area of the old town. I mean, so apparently they all had a really good relationship, like the Berber and Jewish people, uh, but they now moved out to big cities. Um, and some, some people might move back in. I mean, so everyone's really happy about that. Famous movies were actually filmed right here. Um, there you see the background right there, um, including movies like Gladiator. Like there's a lot of scenes um, from this part of Morocco. The thing is, faces like this, wow. but then you came like you this. You can eat it? Yeah. No. It's almonds. Oh, this one? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Normally, from Spain, they actually have. We just came to our hotel. Um, where's the entrance? There's the entrance. It's called, uh, I don't know if you can see it, I can't zoom in. Okay, I can't zoom in. Um, it's called Kasba Amazir. Um, and it's... Where is he? This room is outstanding. Okay, and there's also a pool like right behind there, but we can't see it. And I think there's some birds too. We're going deeper into the Sahara Desert today, um, and we're gonna sleep in a tent out there, uh, kind of like glamping. Um, and we're also gonna go ATV riding and sandboarding, which is like snowboarding but on sand. We're eating uh, lunch um, in a small cafe here. We were dressed up in traditional Berber clothing, so beautiful, um, in the shop right here. Um, it's kind of like a tourist attraction, but it's really pretty. There are very few shops in the Sahara Desert, but um, there are some that sell fossils, uh, like a lot of them. So we actually stopped at, at one of them. Um, it's because it, there used to be a sea here. And so people like uh, go and dig up these fossils. Uh, and so we just wanted to stop to look at them. We're going ATV riding right now. It's super hot. Um, here are the ATVs. And those are the dunes. The dunes get bigger in the back. I'm so excited. We're about to go really fast.
Okay, we're on the ATVs right now. Ready? Ready? Woo! Woo! Ah! Woo! 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 Most thrilling experience of my life. We're on top of the sand dune, and then so I drove till now, and then we just went. Uh, I just went behind the guide, and the guide drove us. And at one point, he lifted the ATV on side, so we're driving on two of the side wheels. So thrilling! I literally adrenaline still rushing through my body. So much adrenaline. <laughs> Time to go sandboarding. We just finished our ATV rides and my sister almost died because it's so hot. It's like, I think 106 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Maybe more, that was last time I checked before the peak daylight. Um, and so we, we forgot our water too, so a lot of dehydration up there. But really fun experience. Um, she is really wetting her face. How was it to you? later we switched wands we're now going in a 4x4 jeep which is going to take us to our tent in the desert um because our traditional van can't drive in the desert because of the dunes and all so we just reached our um hotel what's it yeah. called Surya? um uh i forgot now Hotel, Hotel Nomad. Nomad. <laughs> but only two people in the room. So me and Sria are sleeping here. Our parents are in the room across. Um, but it's so nice. And then outside, um, it's all the desert. And this is just to keep me cool. <laughs> okay, and I did not think that brown people could sunburn. But for the first time in my life, my legs burnt. Like, red. They're so burnt. Um, but that was when we went ATV riding, and I think the smoke of the ATV was directly hitting my leg, that's why. But yeah, super nice hotel, um, and we got some vegan pasta to make, to make in the night. Good morning. Come and sit inside, please, my friend.